my name is Manu Quisella and this is a quick update on what's been going on in my life in Canada. I've been in Canada for five days now and um, I'm going to tell you all that's been going on so stay tuned. If you're not following my channel, please follow like subscribe to my channel and we'll go right into the gist good morning everyone um today is um the 31st of december <sighs> i've been in canada for four days now and it's been a wonderful experience a change in extreme weather coming from nigeria that is pretty hot to a country where um my first point of entry it was minus one. Oh my god i did not know the heater at the airport was on until i stepped out of the airport i was freezing to my bone marrow i had to run back and wear all my winter gadget i call them gadget because uh, there are a lot my head warmer my hand gloves my jacket my my boots my muffler oh my god uh, it was it 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 made a whole lot of difference but what's so sad is when you're wearing your gloves you cannot use your phone and you need to take off the hand gloves to be able to press or press your phone and that few seconds or few minutes, my hands were so frozen. So I had to like quickly put them in my pocket. So <laughs> but it's all good. I'll get used to it. So today, I think I'm still kind of jet lagged because in the, for the past um, three to four days now, I wake up by 3.45 a.m nigerian time that would be um maybe seven seven or eight in the morning eight past eight in the morning so at about um eight in the evening canadian time i'm already shutting down i really want to sleep so i guess i'm still jet lagged but it's all good, it takes time and we get over it. So I've been in Canada for five days and in these five days I've been so busy. You can't imagine. Okay, story time. So for my previous video, I posted that um, in my point of entry from Nigeria, I got into um, I got into Germany. From Germany, I book um, I got a flight to Montreal in Canada. So Montreal was my first point of entry when I got into Canada. And in Montreal, I had a twelve hours layover. Twelve hours, and in that twelve hours, I was just to sit in the airport for twelve hours, and i couldn't stay in the airport for 12 hours because it was going to be so lonely and i have had a very very tedious flight i flew um six and a half hours from nigeria to germany i had a four hours layover in germany and i also flew eight hours to montreal in canada so i just needed a place to lay my head a place to rest and freshen up so i decided to um get a hotel where i could just stay the night and oh boy hotels in montreal are not cheap take it from me okay so um i eventually got to a hotel where i stayed overnight it was so peaceful i enjoyed my stay there and i booked i i hopped on the next flight my next flight to um sydney from montreal which was just a two hours flight and i got to Mont to sydney by four in the evening four in the evening 
and it was like 8 p.m nigerian time i was so confused this <laughs> one so when i checked the time it was four in the evening i'm wondering oh they had oh the the cab guy i got to take me to the house was telling me oh it starts getting dark from 4 p.m in the evening and imagine me going to a place i do not know in the evening everywhere was so dark at night well i wasn't scared though but it was a bit um scary so um luckily for me i've met a lot of amazing people here in canada a lot of nigerians and they've been so helpful um my first um, night i stayed here i in short it was so eventful i went to walmart i went to get lot my grocery already i got um some things i needed from walmart also and the next day i also went out to do a lot of a little bit of um, shopping for things i need immediately because you know coming from nigeria your luggage space is so little that you can't carry anything literally you can't carry anything so basically you just take like your nigerian food stuff in a box and um just few winter clothes you could buy there in nigeria just for the first few hours or first days you'll be here in canada that's what i did and um another amazing thing that happened was on the 31st night i was invited by a friend who's a nigerian to church for 31st night passover into the new year and boy oh boy it was such an amazing service um we had so much fun it was a lot of um ninja vibes i felt home kind of songs the warmth of um knowing yeah you know with people who understand you your culture and everything it was quite um an interesting service the pastor was amazing the message was awesome so 2022 um it's it indeed we it was a very good way to um be ushered into the year the new year rather so 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 that's I would say a lot has happened in five five days. <laughs> um, well, um, I still have a lot to do. That will be this week coming. I have to do a whole lot. I because um, I came during the holidays, so I've not been able to do some of the major things I have to do, like um, opening my bank account, get my SIM. Um, same number which i have to do as soon as the holiday is over so so far so good with settling gradually adjusting now i remember the weather i would say um it's only in canada you have like three seasons in one or yeah i'll say three seasons in one <laughs> because um I can remember um, um, the next day I came, I decided to, it started snowing and I was super excited. Oh my God, it's snowing. Uh, <laughs> so I decided to, okay, let me just go get dressed and take some pictures in the snow. And unfortunately, when I was done, I came down and the snow just stopped and it started raining. And I was like, oh my God. So did I just waste my makeup? <laughs> not in. anyways and while i was still contemplating oh what am i gonna do what am i gonna do the sun came out and i was wondering what's the confusion about weather <laughs> but in all it just shows the wonders of god it shows how amazing i'm just in awe like it snowed it rained and it's the sun was shining just in within 30, 30 minutes wow so like they say you can never be too sure what the weather is going to be like so be prepared at all times so guys um i want to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel my channel is quite new and i thank you guys for your support i thank you guys for um 
following me on this journey and i will always try to update you guys on what's going on how nova scotia is and give you guys all oh, answer some questions in for those who want clarity in some um, aspects of this journey so that's all for now and i'll see you guys next time thank you so guys please like my video subscribe to my channel and share with your friends let's help someone out there bye